Hi, in this problem, we are going to integrate sine of theta minus one over cosine squared of theta with respect to theta. So the big problem here is that we have this cosine squared on the bottom. So I'm thinking one way to do this would be to break it up into two pieces because we have a minus up top. So we can write this as the integral of sine of theta over and then here we have cosine squared theta and minus one over cosine squared theta parentheses d theta okay let's see if we can do something with this so for this sine over cosine squared i'm hoping we can write it uh, in a nicer way. Maybe we can do this. We can write this as sine over cosine times one over cosine. And I'm thinking this will lead to something. So then minus and then one over cosine squared, that's going to be secant squared. Okay, let's keep going and see what this turns into. This is gonna be tangent times secant. Very nice, right? Sine over cosine is tangent, one over cosine is secant, minus secant squared theta d theta. And I'm just gonna rearrange this just so you see the formula a little bit more clearly. Tangent times secant is really secant times tangent. So this is secant theta, tangent theta, minus secant squared theta, d theta. And now it's a little more clear because the derivative of secant is secant tangent and the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So when you integrate these, you're just gonna get back those things. So when you integrate this, you're just gonna get secant theta that's because the derivative of secant is secant tangent. And when you integrate this piece, you're gonna get tan theta. And that's because the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And we have plus c, which is our constant of integration. And that would be the final answer. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.